President. My name is Amy. And I represent Abia South. Prominently. Prominently. Uh, Mr. President, let me also, for the interest of um, my colleagues, remind my colleagues that I was the chairman of the Senate Committee on Media and Information and have worked very closely with um, these publications. There is no doubt that our media these days no longer take time to verify their facts before they publish. Each and every one of us here has been a victim. I have also been a victim. In fact, yesterday I was a victim because I was sitting in the Senate here and uh, while the judge was saying that I should come and make explanation, part of the media now said that the judge says, if I don't bring uh, Nam the Khan, I will be sent to jail. But these are the things that you see with the Nigerian media. But I feel that despite this obvious error by this media, especially the French newspaper that even refused to acknowledge the letter by the uh, committee, that we should go with the first recommendation, which is to ask these papers to retract their story. And then, of course, we can interact with them and tell them that they should have better uh, people who cover their stories within the Senate so that they can verify their stories before they publish. The second part, which is to blacklist them, I think uh, as much as we would like to do that, we want to also give them the benefit of the doubt, that is the management of the papers, that those who are working for them here are not doing such a good job and that they may need to review uh, their credentials or give them further training so that they can be sure of being able to verify stories. So, sorry, I don't think the story originated from the National Assembly. I think it's from uh, Yobe. So we have to correct that, please. What that means is that it also helps us to be able for this day newspaper and the punch newspapers to also look at their correspondence in those uh, places in Yobe and uh, because I mean one cannot be in two places at the same time but even beyond the correspondence we should also ask this day and punch to look at their editors because it is the editors when the stories come to them that put it on the page so the editors probably didn't also take time. They just saw a sensational story and decided to go with it without knowing that it was a librarian story. I would want for us to please consider mitigating this um, uh, uh, proposed uh, 